Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on transformation matrices. In this video, we're going to look at the transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And that's the transformation matrix that reflects the shape in the x-axis. So if I've got this unit square, if I multiply each of these points by the transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1, it will reflect the square in the x-axis. So the C will move down to here. The O and the A will stay where they are. They will be invariant. And the point B will reflect down to here. So let's multiply each of these points by the matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So let's start off with the origin, the point of the origin, so 0, 0. And well, if we multiply it, well, we're going to multiply the first row by the column. So 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. Adding them together is 0. And then the second row by the column, 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 times 0 is 0. Adding them together is 0. So the point of the origin will stay where it is. OK, next, the point at A. Again, we're expecting this one to stay where it is. So we're going to multiply the transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1 by the point at A. So that's 1, 0. And when we do that, we get, well, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is 0. Adding them together is 1. And then the second row by the column, so that's 0 times 1, which is 0. Minus 1 times 0, which is 0. Adding them together is 0. So the point at A will stay where it is. So the point A dash will be there. OK, next. The point at B, the point 1, 1. So again, let's take our transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And we're going to multiply by the point 1, 1. And when we do that, we get, well, 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 1 is 0. Adding them together is 1. And then the second row by the column, 0 times 1 is 0. Minus 1 times minus, or minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. So that'll be the point 1, minus 1. So the point B dash will be here. So reflected in the x axis there. And finally, the point C, well, if we multiply the transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1 by the point C, which is 0, 1, let's see what we get. So 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, add them together is 0. And finally, the second row times the column, 0 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. So it'll move to the point 0, minus 1. So it'll move to here. So C dash will be there. And if we join up the vertices, that will be our unit square. And as you can see, it's reflected in the x-axis. So the transformation matrix for reflection in the x-axis is the matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. 